Hi, I'm Andrew Warren of Orange Lighting. Welcome to another Tea Break Tips. Today, we're talking what makes a good lighting design. Number one, planning. Use light positions and levels of light where the space dictates it and for the various times of the day that the space is going to be used. So in other words, make sure your lighting scheme is flexible enough to suit the requirements of the space as it, tr as it changes throughout the day. Number two, hide the source. LED lighting gives us the opportunity now to hide it because it's so small. So wherever you can, hide the source. We want to see the light, not the source itself. So we are making sure we're catering for the user to protect them from the glare. Number three, do not over light. Make sure that your scheme builds in darks as well as lights. That way, the eye is given interest as there's contrast between light and dark. Number four, plan your use of color temperatures. LED lighting has given us an increased advantage in that we can control the color temperature more than ever before. So consider the warmth of the light or the coolness of the light that you require within the space and use that opportunity to paint with light. And number five, go big. With decorative lighting, the larger the better generally. So it's better to oversize than it is to undersize because we want that fixture and that fitting to have a presence. So it's there for a reason. So that's it. That's five quick tips to help you understand what makes a better lighting design. Thank you for watching. Do visit our website, orangelighting.co.uk for more information and more tutorials. And we'll see you again.